Thank you very much for having me. Again, my name is Marcus Ferreira. I am a PhD student at Texas International, American International School, and I'm also uh, I've been a school administrator for the last 10 years, mostly uh, overseas. And overseas for me is uh, out of Canada, where I'm from. Um, I have been working with different uh, accreditation agencies for the last, uh, I would say, 15 years. Uh, and um, what I came to realize in, in the process was that there is a there is a few gaps that we need to uh, to to fill in, in in order to to make interculturalism really part of a of every institutional education landscape. And I think that goes it's well aligned with the objectives of your um, of your institution of promoting interculturalism. Um, I started my paper by uh, giving an example, uh, an illustration of what a lack of inter interculturalism can lead to. And I give a, a very personal experience at my first year at Concordia University in Montreal uh, when um, Benjamin Netanyahu, former, actually current prime minister of Israel, was invited to deliver a speech at, uh, at one of our campuses in Montreal. And uh, we had a riot. You know, we had a riot. Uh, we had to have uh, the, the squad in front of the school protect the students and, and faculty members uh, to allow them to, uh, to exit the, the building. And, and the big question that we had, I know, that Cordia asked itself after the event was, how could this happen to an institution that is so marked by, you know, by a very diverse school community in terms of faculty, but also cohort? You know, this is an institution that has existed in, in Montreal, which in itself is a very diverse and very, very multicultural uh, environment, and they could not understand how, um, you know, what could lead the students to come to. Uh, to to a riot uh, to rioting at the at this at the school doorsteps. So uh, so you know it started with that with that question you know what institutions are doing to um, to promote interculturalism. So that's my starting point of of my research. Uh, obviously you know I work with schools from uh, pre K to to grade twelve. So I cannot have an impact on uh, on tertiary institutions. Although from my research I did visit several institutions to see what kind of intercultural policies they have and how do they promote it, you know, and how, how is it tangible and what kind of evidence is gathered, uh, you know, uh, in terms of assessing how functional institutions are in terms of promoting interculturalism. And what I came to realize that actually there is not much, not many balance and checks in place that really... Um <laughs>